All right, water signs. Let's see what's popping. All right. So we gonna start with Cancer. What messages do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Love. This is for March 2019. What messages of love do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have in love for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. March 2019. What message in love do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. March 2019. Messages for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. March 2019. All right. So let's see what's popping. Ooh, we got an awakening. Okay. Could be some happiness coming. Could be some clarity coming. Some of you guys could be getting clarity with something. Let's see what's coming here. Ooh, clarity about relationships. Clarity about emotions. Someone's gaining some emotional fulfillment. Let's see what's popping. Three of Pentacles here. This is about gaining some type of structure over a partnership. Maybe something that you've had some inability moving toward or seeing clearly. There's clarity to what you were unable to see before. Ace of Swords here, new vision, new sight. Someone could be gaining their independence from the past. Ace of Cups going toward a new cup at a crossroads here about a relationship. Mm, so someone's at a crossroads here. It looks like about a Taurus. Well, I'll be. Let's see what's popping. Three of Pentacles here. Why is this Three of Pentacles here? Why is this Three of Pentacles here? Y'all, excuse my hair. I know I got this little thing that's popping off to the side. My dread is doing what I want to do. It won't lay down. <laughs> so let's see what messages we have. Why is this Three of Pentacles here? Why is this Three of Pentacles here? Ooh. Why is this Three of Pentacles here? Sun card here. Clarity about a partnership, about a relationship. Could be clarity about some sort of cooperation here. Someone may be resisting, cooperating, resisting, working with someone, moving in a new direction. So you're gaining power. I don't know if this is a friends with benefits or this is just something that you've been working with, some, some type of partnership that you've been working with. But it looks to me like you're resisting that. You're clear about what it is. So whatever it is, you, you're clear about what it is, you're resisting it, and you're moving in a different direction. Yeah, some of you guys are going within yourself about this connection. Emperor here could be dealing with an Aries, could be dealing with someone controlling. Why is this Emperor here? You could be controlling, not controlling, but setting up some boundaries, controlling your your mentality moving forward. Because it seems as though with the Eight of Swords next, you're restricted, maybe afraid to take action, but Ace of Swords right after that, you see something from a different perspective. Some of you guys are gaining your independence from the past, just from a past situation. Emperor here. Why is the Emperor here? Why is the Emperor here? Ooh, yes, indeedy. Fool card here. Hermit, some of you guys have went within yourself. You're following your inner goddess, yes. You may be confused, so you're gaining control of that. No, you don't want to be confused. You're, you're being more nurturing of yourself, Hermit Card, going within your desires, figuring out what it is that you want. You're, you're doing some self-discovery and setting some structure moving forward. Eight of Swords here. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Some of you guys may be still trapped here a little bit. Um, I don't want to say you're physically trapped, but mentally you may still feel as though you're stuck in the past. Something about the past... Um, makes you feel restricted and i think you're gaining structure from that like you're you're setting up your boundaries your yeah nine of cups here knight of pentacles you're, yeah <laughs> okay so something was just either took too long maybe some responsibilities of the past you're just releasing your concerns of some of you guys are, are moving forward you see something from a different perspective ace of swords why is the Ace of Swords here? You may have some new inspiration here. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Queen of Swords making decisions. Yeah, you're speaking your truth. Expecting change, embracing change. It's going within yourself. You're searching for a new path. Some of you guys are escaping the past. You're escaping a part in your life where you felt restricted. All right, then. Nine of Pentacles here. Very confident. Very confident. What are you confident about? Nine of Pentacles here. So you gained your independence. You're moving forward here. Five of of cups you're you're disappointed in someone else um maybe disappointed in someone else's focus someone else's passion queen of cups here 
This is about you. You're gaining your independence from a situation. You are disappointed, but you're moving forward. Six of Wands, moving in a different direction. This Six of Cups is crazy because this is the only card that is tilted in my reading. So something about the past has you feeling off balance. A third party situation, yeah, you may have had patience with someone. Um, so now you're gaining your independence from that. Yeah, you're gaining your independence from... Some of you guys, this could have been a relationship where there was a third party here. You know the truth about a situation. You know the truth. So you're removing your restrictions, removing the, um, you're just removing the anxiety. You're removing your concerns with the situation. You're just moving forward. Why is this Ace of Cups here? King of Pentacles here. So some of you guys got a new opportunity here. It looks to be a Taurus here making a decision. Hmm, Taurus, I'm trying to tell you, King of Pentacles, Hierophant, Knight of Swords. Some of y'all got a Taurus. Hmm, making a decision here to extend your energy. You're independent now, so you're making a decision to extend your energy to this person. Congratulations. Two of Wands here at a crossroads here, Five of Pentacles. You're worried. So you are worried about tradition, whether, you know, you will move towards something traditional here. Nine of Swords, you do have some anxiety about moving into this relationship. Maybe because you're just moving out of one. Tradition here, Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? Ace of Swords, Truth. Okay. Uh, so you're seeing now you're that you got to release the burdens of a relationship, a burdened relationship. Nine of Pentacles. That's the crossroads here. Some of you guys are laying the burdens down. You're confident now. You're moving away from this um, dragging type of energy, this stuck type of energy. You're confident now about moving <laughs> You understand that you have the Midas touch. You got the touch. Why is this King of Pentacles here? Eight of Swords here. Temperance here. Yeah, you're making a decision. King of Cups to extend your energy here. Some of y'all could be moving toward a Taurus. But you're extending your energy. Well, I'll be. Let's see what guidance we have. Come this is an awakening. So some of y'all seeing, you know, where your love lies. All right, then. What messages do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Whoa. Messages for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What guidance do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so this has something to do with finances. Finances here, you're, tr you're retreating from a situation that, um, is a, that has some issues dealing with finances here. Um, you're being honest with yourself. You're being honest with someone else about your feelings. It says your feelings are real and worth exploring. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So some of you guys are retreating from a situation, um, being honest about what you feel moving forward. So let's see what we got. We're going to move on to Pisces. Let's see what messages we have for Pisces. What messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Messages are guidance for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <laughs> what messages do we have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. March 2019. What messages do we have in love for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. March 2019. Messages in love for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. March 2019. Messages in love for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. March 2019. All right. Ooh, that was some good moving energy. Ah, what's up under there? Pisces. Okay, okay, okay. Then, got uh, some good stuff. Wish fulfillment under here. On the right path, star card. Could be dealing with an Aquarius here. Some of you guys are working on your on the right path. Six of swords, moving in a new direction. Some of you guys may be worried. You may be guarded. But things are changing. World of Fortune here. You're independent now. You're worried about being independent. King of Swords here. Someone here may be detaching from a relationship, a household situation. Something that has been in conflict. Maybe conflict with others about relationships. Someone is moving in a different direction. Understanding their worth. Choosing. Making a decision. Choosing to set some boundaries within a situation. Whew. This has been long coming. 
Yes, indeed. He ate the pentacles underneath all of that. You're on the right path. So you, this movement forward is the right path. The decision to choose yourself, the decision to set boundaries within a situation that may be a codependency, that may be dependent upon you or your finances. Some of you guys are on someone else's finances. This has a lot to do with money. Some of you guys are setting your boundaries to the situation and the will is turning in your favor. There is balance that is coming to you. This is a very, very, very good path for you. All right, so six of, six of swords here, moving in a new direction, in a new direction. Why is the six of swords here? Why is the six of swords here? Ooh. King of swords here, making a decision to move in a new direction, to escape a situation that is codependent, or there's money issues. Knight of Swords, Six of Pentacles here, some responsibilities that need to be balanced. King of Swords here, the male in this situation may be deciding to balance some situations moving forward away from conflicts. Chill out. This is about a con con this is about conflicts around family situations or around a household situation. Five of Pentacles here. Why is this Five of Pentacles here? Got the Queen of Swords here, making decisions. So this is uh, mutually, mutual making a decision, male and female here. The woman feels that a lack, so she's choosing a relationship. She's walking away. The male may be choosing himself, setting boundaries to a situation. Four of Pentacles here. Why is this Four of Pentacles here? This is, this, this, this is balance. Um, I think it's a necessity on both ends here. Six of Swords to move in a different direction, to move in a new direction. There's some disappointments within a partnership. Someone may have been holding on to a stagnant situation, hoping to make things come together to work. A relationship for here for once could be Cancerian energy here. Someone's manifesting some movement forwards. There is a separation that has occurred here. Will of Fortune here. The separation is necessary in order for the will to move forward. I think the strings had to be cut in order for things to move in a different direction. Why is this Will of Fortune here? That's Fortune here. Someone's choosing Fortune. Why is this Will of Fortune here? Four of Wands here. Hierophant. This is about a relationship. Changes within a relationship. Will here. Knight of Cups. This is balance. Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Hmm. So this is balance. Some wills had to, I mean, some cords had to be cut here. I believe you may be setting boundaries and making a decision to choose. You're doing some research here, but you're making a decision here. Will of Fortune, Power Fence, Four of Wands to choose something more balanced for yourself. Knight of Cups here, Knight of Wands here. Hmm. You're moving forward, balancing emotions. This is a transformation. Some of you guys may be offering something to someone else. Um, Aquarian energy here. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. King of Swords here, maybe, <laughs> you may be moving, they may be deciding to move towards you. Why is the King of Swords here? Two of Wands, Decision, Hermit Car, Virgo here. Yeah, someone may be going within themselves. Car uh, Cancerian energy here. World Knight of Wands to move forward, making a decision to move forward towards something more balanced. Four of Wands here. I'm trying to tell you why the Four of Wands here. Seven of Cups here. There may be some confusion. Knight of Wands moving forward. There may, there may even be confusing messages here that I don't know if this causes something to move forward. Maybe some clarity. Someone's being clear. I don't think it's confusing messages. I don't think it's some confusion messages. Someone was procrastinating, moving um, something forward, something that is balanced forward. Now there's a movement forward. There may be messages. Someone may be speaking that they're moving forward. Queen of Wands here. Why is this Queen of Wands here? I don't know if I just did. No, I didn't. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Oh. Judgment. Making a decision to move in a forward moon, to move in a different direction, to move forward. Moon card here. There was some procrastination. So someone's manifested some movement forward. They may have felt at a lack. They may have been guarded here, but they're moving forward. Someone here is moving forward. Hmm. They just got, they just either just got out of this situation or this is something that they've been out of and now they're making a decision to move forward. Why is this page of principles here? They may be, um, not very confident about their choice right now maybe needing to understand their value so but someone's there's some control that is someone's working on gaining control here 
Two of Wands again at a crossroads here. Hermit again. Knight of Wands about moving forward. Shit means someone is within themselves needing to find. They need us to become that King of Pentacles. This is an Earth sign here. They need to um, become that King of Pentacles so they can be confident about making this decision. I think once boundaries are set by you, some if you're waiting for someone, once some boundaries are set by you, they will kind of go into that King mode and realize that they have the Midas touch moving forward, coming towards you. Um, hmm. For others of you, this is you needing to understand your value within a relationship. Make a decision to set some boundaries. Why is this lover's card here? Some of you guys are in yourself about moving forward. You're at a crossroads here about transforming the situation, finding the strength to transform a situation. You need to understand your value. Temperance here. It's time for you to put the work within you, work into yourself. You have all of the tools necessary to make this decision. Why is the emperor here? I think you're going to gain control. You, may, you need to gain control of the procrastination you're procrastinating because you're in your feelings about moving forward but there's a new opportunity moving forward like literally moon car seven of cups you ain't gonna tell me that don't mean you ain't in your feelings you in your feelings about moving forward you need to work on getting on the right path seeing clearly what it is you want moving forward and making plans to have that even if you don't have a certain particular person in mind or a certain person in mind Make plans on what you want to feel moving forward so that that energy can come towards you. So let's see what guidance we have. Y'all, some of y'all moving towards somebody. I'm trying to tell you. Mm -hmm. What messages do we have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Y'all on the right path. Messages for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh. This could be the one I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. Some of you guys are within yourself. You feel as though you need to be within yourself at this time. You feel as though you need to come into a visualization of what you want. True that. Do that. But this could be the one. And some of y'all know what I am talking about. Stay optimistic about your love life. Because this will bring you romance, baby. That's all I got, baby. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I got to do uh, Scorpio. Y'all, I'm about to get off this thing because I'm thinking this is a regular read. I got all up in it. So let's see what messages we have. Whatever. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Scorpio. I ain't forget about y'all. Y'all don't be dashing me in the comments. I literally thought it was just, you know, a regular read and not the monthly read. Got lost in y'all read, Pisces. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What guidance do we have for Scorpio? Oh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is in uh, March 2019. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Ooh, wisdom. Some of y'all are gaining some wisdom i believe here this is about inner knowledge some of y'all may not be speaking much here you're at a crossroads here hmm scorpio what's going on here page of pentacles here sacrifice some of you guys are sacrificing something moving forward because you understand your worth strength here that's that inner strength to get over confusion some of y'all have taken y'all time moving forward making a decision um, to get out of confusion, but some of y'all are now uh, <laughs> really gaining that inner strength to propel yourself forward. Why is this page of Pentacles here? Y'all got the page of Pentacles first card out, so this is about you understanding your value, your knowledge of self here. Five of Cups here. Some of you guys are disappointed here about some sort of partnership. You were waiting, having patience with a partnership to move forward here. Hmm. Some of you guys had patience or trying to have patience. Now you may be sacrificing this situation that you were trying to have patience with, this partnership here. You're in your head about it moving forward. You need to gain some inner strength. You're just confused. I think some of you guys need to make a decision to move toward a new opportunity, whatever that means for you. For some of you guys, you're at a stalemate about moving forward toward a new opportunity, but the, the stalemate is just your confusion because you are confused about what you want. Go within yourself and figure out what you really desire. Hang, uh, hang on here. 
temperance. You're trying. You feel like you're, you feel as though you're taking your time, um, and it's not a bad thing. But you do have the tools to move forward. So, like I'm telling you, the only thing that's keeping you in suspense or in stagnation, because some of y'all are in stagnation. The only thing that's keeping you in suspense is your own inability to see your worth or your own inability to see your power. I'm not going to say your worth. I believe this is having to see your power moving forward because you're worthy regardless. You need to see that you have the ability to move forward. All the tools are within you. You have anxiety about things changing within your life. Some of y'all have anxiety about things changing around you. Don't worry about what's changing around you. What's changing within you? What do you need to do moving forward? That's why you need to go within yourself. Why is this uh, nine of swords here? I don't know, but that's a lot of anxiety here. Why is this not a source? In suspense and in anxiety. Two of Cups about a relationship ending. Queen of Pentacles here, Queen of Swords, someone making a decision to nurture themselves. You just gotta you gotta find your grounding. Whether this either this is you needing to find your grounding within yourself, nurture yourself, make a decision to allow transformation, or someone else is deciding to allow transformation. But I think this is you, Scorpio, because this is you that is going through this um suspension this confusion you need to transform your thoughts make a decision on what's balanced for you and what is not whatever is not balanced for you cut it away and move forward will of fortune here why is the will of fortune here why is the will of fortune here why is the will of fortune here eight of cups yeah you need to move forward you need to embrace the changes that are happening eight of cups is here clarifying this will of fortune so there is an emotional growth that is happening Javante, yeah. go turn, go hit that button, baby. There's emotional growth that is happening. This enlightenment that you're receiving or that is happening for you. You definitely need to move forward. You need to balance your emotions within the situation. Balance your thoughts within the situation. See clearly. You know what is within your best interest. What, what is within your best interest and, and what is not. Some of you guys are confused about you not having the inner strength to choose yourself. Why is this strength card here? Hermit, seven of cups within yourself, confused about nurturing yourself. That's exactly what I just said. You're confused about nurturing yourself. You need to gain the strength to remove that ego and move forward. Some of y'all dealing with uh, Capricorn and you're confused about retreating from this situation. You need to nurture yourself. Scorpio energy here. I mean, my apologies. This is Scorpio. Read. Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? I got the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Swords. So something here, some lies. Someone, mm -mm, someone's escaping the situation, gaining control, resisting you blocking you someone's blocking you they're blocking conflicts for you and that's confusing to you you need to gain the strength i don't know if they're blocking conflicts or they're just blocking communication and it's causing conflict but regardless in from their perspective they're escaping a situation you're confused about this and that's what's causing conflict here there's maybe dealing with some sort of responsibilities here this could be something that has been long going some of you guys need to just make a decision to move forward. Others of you, I don't know if you're confused about what is responsibilities within a situation and someone having anxiety about gaining the strength to make changes. So if there are some responsibilities within a situation, someone may be confused about what responsibilities are theirs, maybe in suspension, having a lot of anxiety, really needing to identify their responsibilities identify what they are responsible for speak their truth about it some of you guys this has a lot to do with pride pride and confusion here is in the middle of the read having the inner strength to put things in motion for yourself make decisions for yourself i don't know if this is other people that are that is conflicting with this situation maybe fears that could be conflicting with this situation but there's a lot of confusion. Someone needs to make the decision to remove the pride, remove the confusion, see what is clear, make clear decisions moving forward. Get out of suspension. You're putting yourself in, you're putting yourself in suspension. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? What are the responsibilities? Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Two of Wands. 
you're dragging your feet about making a decision. That's what it is. Needing to gain the strength, having anxiety about laying some burdens down. If they're, listen, the responsibilities, the burdens, whatever, you may be thinking, you may be saying that they're responsibilities because you're confused about making the world turn, about moving forward. You're, con you're confused about what it is that you truly want. But they're not your responsibilities. They're burdens that you're taking on. The confusion is a burden that you're taking on. Find the inner strength to make the decision. All right, so let's see here. Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords? Uh, my apologies. Why is the Six of Wands here? 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 Five of Wands here. So you have conflict about moving forward, King of Cups, and extending your energy, or conflict about someone moving forward. No? You may be in conflict here. Your pride may have put you in conflict here. By extending your energy or extending um, something, maybe even extending words. So if you've extended something within a situation, you may have, some of y'all may have put your foot in your mouth. Ace of Pentacles here, there's an opportunity to speak your truth. But you do have to either extend your energy out in a, a calmer way not in conflict because there, this is conflict that causes someone to be kind of restricted within the situation restricted to moving forward or either it's another person why is this king of swords here but i really believe it's pride because you're confused because you're having a lot of anxiety about being in stagnation some of you guys this is about being in stagnation you may be confused about something moving forward and really needing to make a decision or someone's making a decision. Why is this King of Swords here? Why is this King of Swords? You got a new opportunity here. You just got to gain the strength to move forward. To get out of this feeling as though you're making an unwise choice. Some of y'all, some of y'all feel that nurturing yourself is making an unwise choice. Balancing your emotions, going within yourself. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Libra here. Somebody that could be um retreating here emotionally retreating maybe feeling as though they need to gain some inner strength over something there's conflict here it's almost like this is a power struggle a mental power struggle like who's right but nobody's right nobody's right it's just pride and confusion you need to get out of that situation so that you can move forward this is conflict that can be avoided Someone needs to get out of their head, stop restricting themselves from, you had a stalemate because you don't want to talk. Just talk. It, that's, this, is, this is unnecessary. Just talk. Ace of Pentacles here. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Why is the Ace of Pentacles? Someone needs to make a decision. And I don't know if this is you or this is the person that you're dealing with here. Someone is detached. Someone's not talking here. Someone needs to talk in order to put some things in motion. This is the opportunity. The opportunity is the communication. You're not talking here because you're at a stalemate. Someone doesn't see wrong or someone doesn't see beyond their veil. Remove the veil. Speak what you need to speak and move forward. I just, I don't even think this is a, I'm going to be real with y'all. I don't even think this is a big deal for y'all. I'm going to be real with you. I think maybe... You've had some type of disagreement here. Someone's having anxiety and suspension about how you're going to move forward. Just gain the strength to remove the confusion. Stop procrastinating and speak your truth. Put your pride to the side. This is about seeing value or seeing worth within a relationship. Someone's not speaking to someone because they made a mistake. Or either the person they're dealing with made a mistake or you made a mistake. Regardless, if you value the connection. And some of you guys, this is a new connection. Maybe you didn't have the confidence to move forward and now you feel confused about how you're going to move forward. For others of you, this is a, a long-standing connection. You just need to speak your truths and move forward, either together or away from each other. But right now, there's just a stagnation. Okay. Let's see what guidance we have. What guidance do we have for Scorpio? What guidance do we have for Scorpio? codependency maybe there's a codependency here that has to be mm -hmm. ah some of you guys this is karma this is about control this is a relationship where the karma is about control some of you guys need to let go of control remove the mask and be just open to who you are there's a reconciliation that can happen here but you have to remove the codependency you have to let go of control issues 
That's all I got, y'all. Peace.